All right, guys, went back today with a really cool option for starting fires, a plasma lighter. Now, I've never actually had one of these before, so I'm really glad to grab this one and try it out. I picked this one up from Amazon. It comes in at about $13.99, so not the most expensive one, but it had really good reviews and it had a waterproof rating. So we are going to try it out today and see how it works. Now, I like the idea of a lighter like this because not only is it uh, an interesting option, but it doesn't require gas, butane, things like that. It just requires a charge. So you could actually pair this with a solar charger that I've done videos on in the past, and you'd have a pretty uh, robust kit. You have that solar charger that you can backpack in with you to charge up pretty much anything, but it also always going to recharge your plasma lighter. So that is going to be a great combination. I'll leave a link to both of those. The solar charger and this in the description below if you guys decide you like it at the end of this video now we're going to kind of beat it up a little bit bury it in some snow because it says it's waterproof i'm really going to test it out to operate the lighter you'll simply flip down this lock which is nice it's kind of a rubber eye seal you'll press this button it'll pop open you'll have the power button right there to turn it on and the usb charging port right there the charging cord is actually located in the box and it's hard to see but that is making a plasma arc like an x between those four probes then you can simply close it back up and you are good to go that is pretty darn cool so I've got one of my favorite fire starting materials right here, dryer lint. You can fluff this up and it lights really well. So if it doesn't light this well, I'm gonna be disappointed. Let's get our lighter. Let's see how easy it is too to operate with gloved fingers. Now this is covered in snow. Pop it open, seems to work good. The button's real easy to hit on the side. And right off the bat guys, looks like it's catching that pretty easily. That works pretty darn good if you ask me. I like it. It's also got a little hum to it, so it's not very loud. So it's pretty discreet. It doesn't sound like a taser. That was one of the first things I thought. It may kind of sound like a taser, but overall it sounds pretty quiet and very discreet. Now I'm gonna see how well it works with just paper. Definitely works pretty good. Now this paper's a little bit moist, but you can get the corner of that paper. There we go. So it lights it pretty good. There. But you don't get that huge flame of a lighter but it does the job pretty well. Again, this paper's pretty wet from being sitting around here in the snow, but it did a good job lighting that paper. Now I wanna try a little bit of cardboard. This also has something in here to where you can't overrun it and hurt that uh, diode in there, whatever those probes are. It will cut off once it overloads the circuit, so that is a nice touch. And the last thing I wanna try is the Amazon pack that it came in. Oh yeah, that's working pretty good, guys. So it's definitely catching it, but again, this box is a little bit damp. Now, that's probably the one downfall to something like this. It doesn't throw a flame out very far, but you can definitely ignite a lot of things. So you're still going to have to get tinder and prep things. But I absolutely love the idea of having something like this in a bug out back or a kit like that, especially because you can always recharge something like this, especially with one of those solar chargers. So I can definitely recommend this one. I haven't tried out any other ones. We may grab a few more just to see the positives and negatives, but it seems to do the job pretty well. This one seal, seems to seal up pretty good. And so far I'm pretty impressed. So I hope you guys like the video. Again, all of the information for this guy will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.